Well, welcome back to WTOL 11 Your Day. So happy to have my colleague Emma Henderson join us <laughs> here in studio this morning. We are gearing up for Pride Weekend, yes. and this has been an effort that has been in the process for a long time. So excited, That's right? That's great. I mean, so it's a pretty small committee that gets everything done, um, and it's all local people making it happen. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they've really been working on this since the last Pride. So, <laughs> yeah, it's been a little while. Yeah, big effort. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. So, Emma, first of all, let's talk a little bit about you yeah. and your journey to yeah. really finding your identity and expressing that and then helping others yeah you know do the same thing yeah so I didn't come out till after college it was kind of one of those things where I was so career focused right you want to be a journalist you want to you know try and find your career path mm -hmm. I found that and then I was like all right now I guess it's time to like find myself work on for me. lack of a better <laughs> term uh, and so I started to realize that you know I was a member of the LGBTQ community mm -hmm. um, and so coming to terms with that personally is probably the hardest part so once I did that as someone who is on TV, as someone who is basically, you know, available and people, I guess, recognize you in mm -hmm. certain circumstances, I was like, all right, like, let's talk about this. Let's make sure that anyone in our community that has any questions or, you know, might have some issues themselves, you know, feel comfortable coming to talk. And so I just started getting involved. You have that platform there to, to reach a lot of people and people say, you know, I have a question or I'm not sure about something. I could go to Emma because I know, right. right? I know her, exactly. right? And you're accessible, of course, on social yes. media all the time as <laughs> always. well. So you're going to be involved with the Pride events yes. coming up. Uh, what is your role? So I've been on committees. So this weekend we actually packed like 1,800 goodie bags for all the people <laughs> who have tickets to the event. Um, so I'm behind the scenes doing stuff like that. To um, this weekend, though, I am going to be hosting the first show, the noon to 1:45 show. So I'll actually be up on the main stage over at Promenade Park. Fun. So we'll see how that goes. It'll be fun, I'm sure. Yeah, you have yeah. a great crowd of people. Uh, speaking of crowds, you obviously had to limit uh, the number of tickets yes. that will be available for this uh, because of COVID and the, and the precautions and everything. So a lot of these shows are sold out, yes. but um, it's a great show that's going to be put on. Yes. So because of it. Um, you know, as restrictions started to loosen, yeah. we started to open it up to more and more and more people, which yeah. was great. We thought it was actually going to be a lot smaller than it ended up being. So we have three shows, um, three different times. Each one has a different host. They're both they're all an hour and 45 minutes long. Um, so even if you're only able to go to one section of it, you bought the tickets for one section, which they're all sold out at this point. Yeah. You're going to get almost a two hour show out of it. Wow. So I think, you know, we'll be able to, to make the most of it. You know, there's, there's the brunch on Sunday too. Is that, mm -hmm. what's going on with that? Is that sold so, out? No, that is not sold okay. out. And it's the Big Rainbow Brunch. It's on Adams Street. It's a $5, it's $5 for a wristband. Yeah, and that's all crazy. of the restaurants and bars yeah. on Adams Street kind of get involved and it's kind of like a, travel along at your own leisure and yeah. every place will have their own dish and that's a can, great price yeah, <laughs> exactly i yeah. mean for five dollars yeah. and getting to support local businesses i know i'm i'm excited to do that on a sunday morning early afternoon depending on when people wake up yeah yeah you can, <laughs> you can push it a little bit when it comes to brunch exactly. so you know for folks who maybe they couldn't get a ticket or they can't get out how can they still get involved so there's the rainbow brunch obviously mm -hmm. um, and then a lot of the um, LGBTQ businesses are going to be open um, for either extended hours or you know hosting special events so hamburger Mary's is gonna be open mm -hmm. starting I believe at like noon mm -hmm. Georgie's starting at 2 um, and then Grinders, the new coffee shop, it's their oh, first right. year open for this year. They're going to be open during their normal hours. I think they have some special events planned too, including a drag show. Mm -hmm. So even if you can't get to the main event over at Promenade Park, yep. there are a lot of other community, local businesses that you can support mm -hmm. to celebrate. Just come down, right? Yeah, exactly. And, come and, and enjoy. And show, and show your pride. Is there anything yeah. that you want, just like our viewers to know in general? Like maybe they have a question or maybe like, you know, this is something that they're not that familiar with you know what, what, what is your message this morning yeah I mean I think the important thing is you know these are members of your community who are coming out to show who they are and feel comfortable in their own skin mm -hmm. and for some people they, this is really the only chance every year that they yeah. get and so you know just respect that and you know if you want to learn more about it we have so many community resources you know Equality Toledo is always there um, the Pride Committee is always going to be there I will always be here and I'm happy to answer questions mm -hmm. Um, you know, and we're just here to have a good time, mm -hmm. you know, celebrate being ourselves and yeah. 
um, who we are. Embracing that identity. Exactly, right? okay, exactly. Emma, thank you so much for coming this morning. It's good to see you early. I know she's yes. tired. She was up late last night, so thanks for coming Not in early this morning. Not my normal shift, but it's definitely worth it. <laughs> worth it. All right, have fun this weekend. We'll be back with more Your Day after the break. Stay with us.